Tell me, please respond. Sutra Manjushri said to the Buddha, "Won't honored one, even if I was to measure and reckon with my spiritual powers for a thousand ends, I still would not be able to know how many of them there are." The Buddha told Manjushri, "Regarding them with my Buddha eye, their numbers cannot be exhausted. Those beings have been taken across, are being taken across, will be taken across." Have been brought to accomplishment, are being brought to accomplishment, or will be brought to accomplishment by Earth Star Bodhisattva, Siti Gapa, throughout many eons. Manjushri said to the Buddha, "Won't honor the one throughout many ends. I have cultivated good roots, and my wisdom has been certified as unobstructed. When I hear what the Buddha says, I immediately accept it with faith. But hearers of small attainment, gods, dragons, and the rest of the eightfold division, and beings in the future who hear the first comers' true and sincere words." Will certainly harbor doubts, even if they receive the teaching most respectfully. They will still be unable to avoid slandering it. My only wish is that the world honored one will proclaim for everyone what a store Bodhisattva Mahasattva practiced and what vows he made while on the level of planting causes that now enable him to succeed in doing such inconceivable deeds. Commentary: Manjushri said to the Buddha earlier. Shakyamuni Buddha asked Manjushri Bodhisattva, "Do you know how many Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, ghosts, and spirits there are?" Manjushri Bodhisattva told the Buddha, "Won't honor the one, even if I were to measure and reckon with my spiritual powers for a thousand ends. Were I to take one thousand ends to estimate and guess that?" Number using my spiritual powers and wisdom, I still would not be able to know how many of them there are. I would not know that number. The Buddha Shakyamuni told Manjushri Bodhisattva, regarding them with my Buddha eye, observing with my Buddha eye. What is a Buddha eye? A Buddha eye is like a thousand suns that are omniscient. See and hear everything. The Buddha eye has all possibly capabilities and is the manifestation of all wisdom. There are four other eyes: the flesh eye, the heavenly eye, the drama eye, and the wisdom eye. One verse describes them comprehensively. The flesh eye penetrates obstructions. The heavenly eye penetrates without obstructions. The drama eye. Contemplates the secular, the wisdom I understands true emptiness. The Buddha eyes like a thousand suns. It is the same a source that shines on different things. The heavenly eye sees everything thoroughly and clearly without any obstructions. The flesh eye penetrates obstructions. What is the flesh eye? It can see everyone and everything. The flesh eye is not the eyes we typically used to see. There is another flesh eye. The heavenly eye and the flesh eye are on opposite sides. Not only can the flesh eye see things in the house and outside the house, regardless of how far, as long as you want to, you will see it. If you do not want to see it, you will not see it. Of course, although you can see, it would be best if you do not. Why? It takes a thought to see one thing. It is better to have fewer thoughts than more thoughts. One less false thought is better than one more false thought. Using this eye to see things and observe requires thoughts. But this kind of thought is somewhat different than most people's thoughts. Although they are different, there is not much advantage to it. Even you can, when you can see, you should not look. This is the flesh eye that penetrates obstructions. This means it can see through every item that blocks. The drama eye contemplates the circular. 
The Dharma I see is the secular truths, which are the typical worldly situations. If you open your Dharma I, not only do you not need to read sutras, all you need to do is open your Dharma I and all up space and Dharma realm as sutras, limitless and boundless number of Dharma treasures. As long as you have the purity to the Dharma I, you can universally observe the true marks of all Dharmas. This is the Dharma I that contemplates the secular. The wisdom I understands true emptiness. The wisdom I observes emptiness. Secular truths are false truths because they are not substantive. Real truths are about the understanding of true emptiness. The wisdom I understands true emptiness because it understands the true marks of all dharmas and true emptiness. The Buddha eyes like a thousand suns. The Buddha's eyes are as bright as a thousand suns. It is the same as the source, but shines on different things. Although it says different things, it is one at the core. Now in this sutra passage, the Buddha said that he observed with the Buddha eye. He used the Buddha eye and observed that all the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, South Hearers, those who enlightened to conditions, Rateka Buddhas and dragons and spirits of the Eightfold Division. Their numbers cannot be exhausted. I do not know the numbers in detail. Shakyamuni Buddha said, Those beings have been taken across to become Buddhas a long time ago by Earth Star Bodhisattva. All these Bodhisattvas are being taken across in the time when Earth Star Bodhisattva was on the cause ground. We be taken across um, all the dragons and spirits, gods and all beings of the future, have been brought to accomplishment, are being brought to accomplishment, and all will be brought to accomplishment by Earth Star Bodhisattva Siti Gappa throughout many ends. Accomplishment in Chinese also means lush and lofty. The position achieved will be high, great and lush. It also means that filiality. Most people cannot you know, shudder the word filiality in China. Who can? The emperor. Since ancient times, the emperor governed the world with filiality, achieving the loftiest virtues. In this sutra, a Stavuri Sattva is already helping all beings realize Buddhahood. Now he is helping living beings be Bodhisattvas and will help all beings realize their highest role, Buddhas, in the future. This idea contains three stages. One, planting as a planting seeds. Two, ripening grains nurtured and irrigated grow from out of the soil. Three, liberated as in liberation after being mature for a while. In other words, being making beings who have not planted any good roots to plant good roots, making beings who have planted good roots grow, making those whose good roots have already grown to ripen. They are liberated when their good roots mature. There are three meanings to accomplishment. Manchu Sri said to the Buddha, World honored one throughout many ends in the past. Since a long, long time ago, I have cultivated good roots and my wisdom has been certified as unobstructed. I have already certified to unobstructed wisdom. Unobstructed wisdom is the four unobstructed eloquences or the four unobstructed wisdom. The four unobstructed eloquences are the obstructed the unobstructed eloquence of Dharma, the dramas spoken are very reasonable though it is one principle it can be broken down into millions and millions of principles also there are millions and millions of principles they can be classified into one principle the unobstructed eloquence of meaning the unobstructed eloquence of phrasing was said really makes sense the unobstructed eloquence of delight in speaking one enjoys talking when I hear what the Buddha says, I immediately accept it with faith. 
since I Madhushri cultivated Mahayana dramas in the past, I believe instantaneously what the Buddha says, but hearers of small attainment, such as sound hearers, those who enlighten to conditions and positions in the the, the Ravadan tradition, gods, dragons, and the rest of the Eightfold Division, such as Yashas, Gandavas, Arsuras, Garudas, Kinaras, and Maharagas, and all beings in the future who hear the first common true and sincere words will certainly harbor doubts. Look as truthful as the Buddha's words are, they are still skeptical, not to mention my disciples. Someone does not believe in my explanation of the sutras and wants to run away. It is no wonder, considering what Manjushri said about how all of the Eightfold Division does not believe and questions the Buddha's spoken truths. Some people think it is very normal to hear sutra lectures. Actually, it is one of the most difficult and rare things to hear sutra lectures live, especially in the United States. How many spaces offer lecturing follow lines in following lines in the sutra text and explaining the meaning word by word? None, or extremely few, in Western countries. Although few Westerners who hear the true Buddha drama do not recognize it either, because they do not understand the Buddha drama. For example, people who have never seen gold will treat gold. You hand him as copper. Another example would be to treat diamond as glass. Similarly. Explain the true Buddha drama, and because they do not recognize it, they consider it ordinary and external rather than internal. Actually, how can you understand the inner if you do not even understand the outer? You must try to two prong approach. You cannot cultivate without understanding principles. You cannot understand principles if you do not cultivate either. Understanding and practice must correspond. Corresponding means to understand the um, Buddha Dharma, and practice means cultivating according to the Buddha Dharma. When Shakyamuni Buddha explained this Earth Star Sutra, even Manjushri Bodhisattva raised his concern about Sadhguras of the Small Attainments, Eightfold Division of God. Dragon and others and all beings in the future will not believe it, since they do not have enough good rules. Although they hear these honest words the Buddha articulated, they are skeptical for sure. Even if they receive the teaching most respectfully, suppose they receive the teachings, it is only temporary, because their faith only lasts for a short period of time. For instance, some people take refuge like others, but they have no faith because their heads are full of devon knowledge and devon views. They do not understand the proper dharma when you explain it to them. They do not know what they hear. They will still be unable to avoid slandering it. While Shakyamuni Buddha was in the world, Manjushri Bodhisattva suggested, My only wish is that the world honor the one who proclaim for everyone what earth stop would he sat by Masafa practiced and what vows he made while on the level of planting causes. I wish you won't honored one. You'll say a bit more about earth stop would he sat by Masafa, this great Bodhisattva. What practices did he cultivate and what vows did he make in life's past? We make vows. No matter the vows, we must fulfill our promises and do what we say we will. We cannot deviate from that no matter what kind of hardship or difficulty according to our vows. That now enable him to succeed in doing such inconceivable deeds. This earth stop would sad but however achieves his type of inconceivable state. Sutra The Buddha said to Manjushri by way of analogy, suppose that each blade of grass, tree, forest, rice plant, hemp stalk, bamboo, reed, 
mountain, rock, and the smoot in a 3000 grade thousand one system was a Ganges River. Let's suppose that each grain of sand in each of those Ganges rivers was a wound and that each dust mode in each of those ones was an N. Then suppose that each dust mode accumulated in each of those ends was itself an N. The time it lasted since Earth star Bodhisattva was certified to the position of the ten ground is a thousand times longer than that in the above analogy. Even longer was the time that he dwelt on the levels of Hira and Pratika Buddha. Commentary The Buddha said to Manjushri, Shakyamuni Buddha told Manjushri Bodhisattva, Let me give you an analogy. By way of analogy, suppose that each blade of grass, tree, forest, rice plant, hemp stalk, bamboo, reed, mountain, rock, and the smooth in a 3000 grade thousand one system was a Ganges River. We are not talking about just one of each of these items, but all the grass, all the trees, eatable rice plants, eatable hemp stalks, etc. How many bamboos and reeds are there in the 3000 grade thousand one system? Can you count all of them? You cannot. Lots of dust most become mountains. There are so many things in the 3000 grade thousand world system. If each item was one, what would be the total? If every blade of grass counted as one Ganges river, then the number of Ganges rivers that existed would be uncountable. Not only every blade of grass, but every tree, forest, rice plant, hemp stalk, bamboo, and reed too, to count as one Ganges River. One item is one Ganges River, two items are two Ganges River, three items are three Ganges Rivers, four items are four Ganges Rivers. The number of grass and trees are practically infinite, so there would be infinite Ganges Rivers. This means that there are so many that the, the figure cannot be calculated if each item were to turn into a Ganges river. How many sand grains would be in those Ganges rivers? Then suppose that each grain of sand in each of those Ganges rivers was a wound. If every sand grain in all those Ganges rivers were a 3,000 great thousand wound and that each does moot in each of those 3,000 great thousand wounds was an end. Then suppose that each does moot accumulated in each of those ends was itself a great end. The time elapsed since the earth stop disaster was certified to the position of the, the tenth ground is a thousand times or more longer than that in the above analogy. Even longer was the time that he dwelt on the levels of Hira and Pratika Buddha, not to mention how long a store Bodhisattva was South Hira, how long he was a Shravaka, how long he was a Pratika Buddha. Earth store Bodhisattva's conduct and vows have been in existence for a long time. Sutra, Manju Sri, the awesome spiritual strength and vows of this Bodhisattva are inconceivable. If good men or good women of the future hear this Bodhisattva's name, praise him, behold, and bow to him, call his name, make offerings to him, or if they draw, carve, cast, sculpt, or make lacquered images of him, such people will be reborn in the heaven of the 33. 100 times and will never fall into the evil paths. Mandu Sri, indescribably many ends ago, during the time of a Buddha named Lion Sprint, complete in the 10,000 practices, first come one. Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva was the son of a great elder.
commentary. Manju Sri Shakyamuni Buddha called out the awesome spiritual strength and vows of this Bodhisattva are inconceivable. Which Bodhisattva is the Buddha referring to? Earth Star Bodhisattva, his awesome virtues, spiritual powers, and vows are inconceivable. To save all beings with profoundly heavy offenses, he uses his awesome might to subdue them. He made these vows. Unless the hells are empty, I will not become a Buddha. Until all beings are saved, will I then certify through Bodhi. He wants to save all beings before he becomes a Buddha. If there is one being who has not been saved, he will not become a Buddha. This is why it has been so long and he is still not a Buddha. When this being is saved, another comes, it never ends. Either that being is becoming born, or that being is passing away, or that being is passing away and this being is coming into the world. There are ten times, a hundred times, a thousand times, ten thousand times more living beings become becoming born than passing away. Let us calculate and see if there are more deaths or births in San Francisco right now. Deaths come after aging and sickness, whereas the birth only requires 10 months of pregnancy, a relatively shorter period of time. Since people have to wait a few decades to die, there are millions, many more births than deaths, which makes a star Bodhisattva work so hard that he cannot realize Buddha even now. But does he regret it? He does not regret it. The more living beings there are, the more jobs he has. Without living beings, he is out of work, and he goes on to realize Buddhahood. There is not much to do as a Buddha either. So Earth Star King Bodhisattva looks for things to do when there is not much to do. He was very much at leisure, but he would rather be busy all day saving living beings. This is the Earth Star King Bodhisattva's vows. Why did Earth Star King Bodhisattva make this kind of vow? He feels that he is one with living beings. If living beings do not become Buddhas, there is not much significance to his becoming a Buddha either. He is here waiting for living beings because his causes and conditions are about being one with living beings always. Earth stalking, what is that was about, can never be fathomed or understood. What we have talked about is just one small portion of his unimaginable and unspeakable, unspeakable vows.